The average application is potentially one of the most talked about issues in the short-term insurance industry. Average, by its simplest form, suggests that you have an item worth 200 Rand in value and you only insure that item for 100 Rand. This example would therefore suggest that you are only insured for 50% of the potential risk uh, the insurance company is carrying. How this will play out at claim stage is that the insurance company will say, you gave me 50% premium, I'm therefore only going to pay 50% of your claim. Now the common mistakes that people do when calculating their inventory for their household contents, for example, is they're only including high risk items. Because first and foremost, when we think of our contents items, the biggest potential risk is burglaries. As such, we fall into the trap of only including the high-end quality stuff, which includes jewelry, television sets, and all those electronic equipment that we perceive the burglars would be after. The fact of the matter is, calculating your inventory only on the high-risk items will lead to you being underinsured and only apportionately paid out at claim stage. It is highly recommended to do an inventory once a year, and there's a couple of benefits to it. First and foremost, when doing an inventory, you make sure that your sum insured is accurate and correct. I can assure you the monthly saving you're going to save on discounting your sum insured for contents is not worth the ultimate price you're going to pay at claim stage. You'll be surprised what an extra 50,000 Rand might only cost you with your insurance company. So I challenge you to do a comprehensive inventory, old for new basis, because remember under your content section, when something happens to your items, your insurance company will generally replace on an old for new basis and make sure you include everything. The idea and the concept you have to have in mind when looking at your inventory form is total loss. Your house is burned down to the ground. So you have to replace everything from clothing to ornaments to paintings. All of those items needs to be included in your inventory. If you select only high risk items, you are potentially and actually anti-selecting against the insurance company. So they are not collecting the appropriate premium for the appropriate risk. Now the other benefits, like I mentioned earlier on, of compiling an inventory form once a year is write down the serial numbers of your items. Take a photo of those items. These might come in handy because what we see at claim stage in cases of a burglary is many people don't realize all the items that are missing. Having a comprehensive inventory list means post a loss, you can actually go through that list and identify which are the items that you are missing. The other benefit of having a, an inventory form that is updated and if you do put down the serial numbers, makes and models along with a photograph thereof, will you actually streamline the claims process? Because shouldn't the claims assessor approach you or the claims consultant for that matter, you are able to give him exact details of the items that you are missing. So once again, a favorite saying of mine is always plan for the worst and hope for the best. Do your inventory once a year, make sure that you have listed all the items under your content section and then phone your insurance company if you are underinsured. And like I mentioned to you, you might be surprised as to how little appropriate cover will cost you. The common fallacy that we make under our building cover is that we purchase a property for X amount. The purchase price and rebuild cost is two separate functions. So you might have picked up your property for a bargain at X amount. However, you need to consider insuring that item for its rebuild cost, which means if the insurance company has to build that house today from ground level all the way to roof, what will it cost them? And you and I both know that building costs have soared over the last couple of years. So the replacement value versus the price that you purchased your building for is not always the same amount. So in closing, take the time. Inventories aren't fun. I can assure you it's a time consuming matter. However, the peace of mind that you will gain from doing this experience will not only enable you to appropriately insure yourself, but at the end of the day, could also have some value added benefits at claim stage when you are asked to give proof of ownership of your specific items.